everyone, my name is Andrea and this is Kulfi and in today's video we're going to talk all about what exactly does it cost on a month-to-month -month basis to have a chow chow. I've been looking online and I couldn't find a lot of content covering exactly what the costs of owning a chow chow puppy are and I thought that would be a really good thing to film because uh, it's something that you really need to prepare for when you're getting a dog. <laughs> The first thing in terms of finances is obviously buying the dog itself. We went for a breeder and going for a breeder uh, with a chow chow is something I would really recommend because obviously there are some sort of backyard breeders, uh, puppy farms and with a breed like that which is quite rare I would definitely go for a breeder. A chow chow puppy can be anywhere between 1200 to 4000 pounds and the prices vary a lot depending on a couple things. One of them will be time of year. During COVID, you probably wouldn't be able to find a chow chow puppy below £3,000. But ever since then, the prices have dropped significantly, which means even chows for about twelve to 1500 are quite achievable. The other thing is whether you want a show dog, which means having KC registration. For that, you might also want to go to a breeder that might charge a bit more for their puppies. For us, we got a, our puppy from a breeder in Wales. We have them linked on Instagram as well. And he cost us £1,500. There was a £100 deposit to put down uh, before we picked him up. And then once we picked him up, we paid the remaining £1,400. The next thing to consider is all the supplies you will need to buy at the beginning before your puppy comes home. We have an entire uh, checklist and a list of things that we bought for Gulfi linked in the description. And it's all from Amazon, which makes it super convenient. And that's everything from a crate, bed, first harness, poop bags, an elementary uh, lead, um, some basic toys, you know, all the small things, food bowls, uh, all of that. And for us, that came to somewhere around 250 pounds. That can vary a lot on the size of your dog. Because for example, for Kulfi, we had to have the biggest crate that there is on the market because he's going to be a large breed. But we would budget anywhere between two to three hundred pounds for that initial package of things. The next thing to consider is insurance. In the UK it's quite common for people to get insurance for their dogs because for example an x-ray or a CT scan can be around 1200 pounds and you don't know when your puppy or your dog is going to need those and it's really difficult to budget for things like that. And insurance for a chow chow can be really varied on the monthly cost and it depends a lot on the company you go for, the type of cover you go for, and uh, the amount of cover and excess you're willing to pay. If you're going for around £100 excess, which is what we have, so whenever he needs treatment for a condition, we pay £100 or up to £100 and everything else is paid by the insurance company. And you go for a lifetime cover, which means he's covered for life for any condition that comes up while he's under that same policy. And I think our per condition uh, kind of limit is about £7,000, which is quite high. So an insurance like that costs us £160 a month. You will be able to find cheaper insurance uh, from different companies with different types of cover. But I saw that people can pay anywhere between £70 to £200, £250 a month. So it really depends on the choice that you're making. Along the lines of health, uh, it's quite likely or possible that your vet will charge a or have an offer for you to pay a monthly subscription, which will include a couple types of treatment in it. We pay 17 pounds a month for our vet, and that includes all fleeing and worming treatment. It includes all his compulsory vaccinations. It gives us a discount on his uh, kennel cough vaccination, on neutering, and it also gives us free puppy checkups. Normally, a vet consultation can be around £50 with a vet checkup uh, coming at £45. If you're with an insurance company, those will be covered uh, once they exceed your excess. Another quite pricey item on the monthly costs can be food. Uh, there's a lot of decisions to make around food and the website I would recommend for this is called allaboutthedogfood.com. I'll put it on the screen as well. It's the website I used to decide what food we were going to have Gurfi on and it's been incredibly helpful because he's been doing so well on his food and we've been on Oodle's Kitchen for the past two and a half months and he hasn't had any issues. This food is kibble with a high amount of protein so he's currently on a 
60 to 70 percent protein uh, kibble that has mostly poultry and fish in it and that costs us around 60 65 pounds a month you can probably land anywhere between 40 to 100 150 pounds a month on the food some people decide to feed raw which is quite popular right now and that can come a little bit more on the pricey side the website that I recommend will also give you a great breakdown of price per day compared to the ratings and the quality of the food. So you can really play with that trade off there and decide what's the best thing you can comfortably afford for your dog. In terms of maintenance, you will need to get your own poop bags. In the UK, we buy a large packet of 540 bags off of Amazon, which is, uh, I think, around 10 or 15 pounds. And this has been lasting us so far for three months quite comfortably. I'm expecting it to last anywhere between four to five months. The next item on the list is treats. This will be probably a higher cost at the beginning when you have a puppy because you will want to really focus on your training and potentially do a lot more training sessions than as your puppy is growing up. With Chow Chow specifically, I think it's extremely important to find high value treats that your Chow is motivated by to get into training because they can be a little bit stubborn and not want to train as much when they're not in the mood. We buy different types of treats that we all covered in a special video all about training treats. And this will cost us anywhere between 10 to 15 pounds a month. We also buy specific treats. We were recommended in puppy school in bulk off of Amazon because it's a little bit cheaper and we know he already enjoys them. In terms of chews and extra treats like the chew that Kurfi is enjoying right now, it's this like lamb braid. We find that the best way to get those bought is in bulk. Our favorite brand is JR Pet Product. I placed a giant order some time ago for around 60 pounds. And I got, I think, 12 different packets of eight meat sticks each. Um, so that's a lot of, lot of uh, sticks. I got these braids and I got five different pantes. I think that will last him a couple months, you know, maybe up to half a year. So we're looking at maybe 10 pounds a month for these extra chews and treats. Obviously, you can go crazy, you can get more stuff, you can get things that are more expensive, or you can get really cheap chews. I managed to get some vegetarian peanut butter chews. So the cost there really depends on how much you want to invest in chews and uh, what your local pet store might carry. Then with a puppy especially, but as a growing dog in general, and I think with chows as well, you really want to invest in some fun toys. They're not really the breed that is going to be into ball chasing or playing fetch. So we bought a couple of high quality rope toys and soft squeaky toys. A single toy can range anywhere between 8 to 25 pounds. The toys we buy are usually around 10 to 15 pounds. There's branded toys as well, for example, Kong, and they can be on the pricier side around 18, 20 pounds per toy. We don't buy him a toy every month. So I would budget around 10 pounds a month-ish for a toy, but that's something that you really can go and buy one off. In terms of harnesses and leads, uh, we're really into that and we love posting Instagram pictures in our harnesses and leads, so we have quite a large collection. A harness and lead set usually comes to around 30 to 40 pounds in the most kind of mainstream Instagram brands out there. There's definitely cheaper options on the market as well and you can scout Amazon for those. those I would personally recommend having two harness and lead sets just because when it gets wet or rainy or super soggy or muddy outside, you want to have a second set on hand to change your puppy into and go on another walk later in the day before you have time to fully wash and dry the dirty set. You will have to buy a couple different sizes as they grow up and then once they're full size at around nine to ten months you can really just stick with that single harness and lead set and the backup one for the muddy days last two items on our list are optional right Kurfi? and those are daycare and puppy school we took Kurfi to puppy school for a six-week course for 200 pounds and that's a little bit on the pricey side, but not too uncommon. Puppy schools can be anywhere from around 120 to 250 pounds for a six weeks course. This I think is really important for chows because they need loads of socialization and they can be a bit stubborn with training. Doggy daycare on the other hand is more of a recurring cost and something you'd want to plan for. 
Uh, this costs around £35 a day. That seems to be the industry standard. And there's different charges for half days and extended days. We found it quite difficult to find a daycare that would accept Chow Chows. And we found that these big name brands that have daycares all over the country just don't accept Chows by default. And we ended up going with a daycare that is local to us and run privately. And we couldn't be happier. And I think this is definitely something you want to budget for with a chow. Again, it makes a massive difference to their socialization and to their manners around other dogs. These are all the recurring and one-off costs I could think of that we associate with Kofi and I will put on the screen a breakdown of how much it costs us to have a chow chow puppy in the UK in London. And uh, there's a lot of sensible choices you can make for different items on this list to keep it cheaper or more expensive. I didn't include any grooming costs and these can be around £40 per groom and that's just because Kulfi is still too young and we might put him for a puppy groom but right now it's not something that we find necessary and we might transition into more regular grooming as he grows up which would be another item added to his list. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you also learned something new and hopefully we made it easier for you to decide whether a chow chow is the right doggy for you. Thank you so much for listening and we'll see you next time. Bye!